Why not do the pretzel? Why not do the pretzel? Uh, so, I'm going to do the pretzel. I'm going to do the pretzel. Join me for a long live stream. Maybe not too long. Two, two and a half hours, hopefully, because I've got to get to a special, uh, special event tonight down at Bullets doing a live FTP test. Uh, so, ram, t ram test. Not doing a ram. I'm not doing a ram test. I am. Legs are gone. Legs are gone at the moment. Um, the pretzel. The pretzel. So the pretzel, 72.8 kilometers. I better get started, otherwise I won't get down to bullets. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Join me. Join me. Going to start off on the lightweight hill climbing bike. Just doing a bike swap practice for potentially tomorrow for the tiny races. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Ten on the hand now as well. Try and get away with two. Level two.
Ugh. <clears throat>
Hey Paul, good to have you back. Yeah, just a casual, casual ride. I'm going to do the 7:30 a.m. Um, Swift Insider epic group ride, which I think comes up the same hill, not on this route. It's the Mountain Eight, which I haven't done either. So, just thought as I hasn't done, as I haven't done this uh, this course before, the pretzel. I'll give it a go. Deceptively warm today, though. <sighs> Smashed my legs in two days ago. Uh, yeah, two days ago. Uh, not yesterday. Day before. Double day outdoors. Porlock Hill Climb. Porlock Toll Road. PR attempt. Smashed it. <laughs> Went quite deep. Yeah, I could do a, I could do a heavy wind down up here. Are you doing the hill climb, the Wellington hill climb? Not Wellington, Exeter hill climb on Stoke Hill on the 20, is it 24th of September? Oh, nice, 110 kilometers. Where did you go, Paul? It's one meme I came down to watch last year, the hill climb, Stoke Hill. I think it's 24th of September. I'll come down and race it this year, all being well. Are you telling me you've only you've only just recovered from a ride in July? <laughs> Come on, Paul. Get those recovery rides going. Get those carbs in. <laughs> There's me going, I'm not recovered from bloody toll road PR. <laughs> Cheers to the ride on Kev Stephen. The legs feel good. I'm going to do a PR on this climb tomorrow. There's no hundred in there. Oh, that TT. I would have loved to do that TT because it's the the one week where actually I could stick with a pack. <laughs> and uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't think of anything worse than getting on the bike yesterday. I wanted to, but my legs were just <laughs> saying no. The Paul Lock Toll Road PR attempt, which you can see on my Strava, I just uh, seemed to drop the watts when I went up to a decent cadence. So it's pretty much like this, <laughs> you know, 75 to 80 cadence, which is actually quite low for me. So it was a bit of a grind for the climb, but we got the PR by 35 seconds, which I was well chuffed about. Now I've just got to find 50 seconds to go under under 20 minutes 
in four weeks time Marco will be turning me up there next week hopefully Stitches are awful. They're under <laughs> underrated. You just can't do anything apart from take your foot off the gas. I had one the other day. I can't remember where it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Me, Nat and Bullet tried to do Timberscombe Hill. Tried to get a PR because it's similar to the toll road. A bit steeper in places, but similar length. Literally a mile in. I went for lunch, went for breakfast with Phil Lovett in Minehead. And then I think we just tried to get out on the bike too quickly. I was, uh, as I was going for a PR, I was in all sorts of, uh, all sorts of a mess. Andrew Buffington, what a name. Oh, Buff, Buff Bigelow. Oh no, uh, Buff. There's a wrestler called Buff. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, cheers, Andrew. I really appreciate it. I thought I'd live stream this, even though I was just going to do it. Not live stream. I thought it's good to people to see me suffer on these kind of rides as well as suffering on downtown Dolphin. Buff Baggins? <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> Andrew Bradley Buffington, Lord, Lord Andrew Bradley Buffington, as he's known to his friends. <laughs> Paul Bonner's got a recovery ride tomorrow, then outdoor ride on Sunday. I'm going to do the Zwift Insider, I keep saying tiny, Zwift Insider epic group ride on Saturday, tomorrow morning, 7.30 UK time. And we come up this hill. So the idea was to come up here today just to get it in my head. Maybe go for a PR attempt as we're a bit lighter than the last time we did it. Uh, okay. Good luck with the bowls. Bullet's got a ramp test tonight, so I said I'll go down and coach him through a live ramp test. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be done on this ride by the time that happens. Who knows, the next uh, reverse KOM epic might be a PR to get, her, to get off the turbo in time. I haven't done this climb very much, but even doing it now, maybe did we do it in Rafa Rising? I got a PR. We did it sometime, and I remember going for a PR. These bits are just amazing. In the live chat, everyone's like, come on, you got a nice bit of recovery coming up. If you do it by speed, 31 kilometers an hour, 218 watts at 96 kilos, just enough. Give it a bit of rest. Well, make sure you win then. You don't want to keep bumping into them after you know they put you to the sword. Bullets FTP live FTP test later. What do we think he's going to get? I think he's going to smash it and get 270 watts new FTP. 265265 I guess there's nothing stopping me changing to a TT bike at the top of the radio tower is there I don't think so 
there's no one to draft. <laughs> and he pressed uh, U turn then. We've got El Sharon 48 seconds up the road. Ah, there's a little group there, but it's it. Let's try and get it. Hey Phil. Hey, Gareth. I'm just doing the pretzel ride. I've never done this route before, so unlocking some XP to catch Ali PG in the XP battle. I haven't done this hill for a while. The idea is to do the tiny race, uh, tiny races. Epic Zwift Insider Epic group ride tomorrow morning, 7.30 UK time. And we come up this hill, so it's not a race tomorrow, but I might go for a PR up here because I should be lighter than I was last time I did it. I'll double check and so I know. It's just uh, familiarizing myself. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't anything heroic, uh, Bill. It was just uh, me going, oh, the guys are 48 seconds up the road. I'll catch them. Well, chap, my Paul Lock Hill climb PR on Wednesday. I think it was almost 340 watts in the morning for a segment, eight laps of the seafront, which Marco will probably take off me next week. Um, so within that eight lap segment, which is 20 odd miles, 21 miles or something, if you look at my Strava, you think of it as a TT, a TT effort, but it's not because you've got two roundabouts, dead turn roundabouts, 
and then all other turns. So literally 800 watts every roundabout, 800 watts, 800 watts, 800 watts for 53 minutes. I managed to do it 24.2 miles an hour average. So I was well chuffed with that in the morning. And the idea today was to go up the toll road and see how close I could get to, not see how close I could get to 20 minutes. I knew I wouldn't get 20 minutes. It's literally impossible. <laughs> with the wind, it was a very still day actually. I think it was like four, four, mile, four mile an hour tailwind. So it's kind of nice and it didn't really feel like that at the top. It didn't feel like anything. So I, uh, I went for a little dig and did, well, Marco's seen, he's commented on the videos. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate the uh, algorithmic dedication to the Comrades channel. And having to maybe, well, I don't know anyone watches those videos with, with the sound on. You have to turn it off because it's uh, it's worse than a Zwift race. So yeah, we did took 35 seconds off my PR on the toll road, which the PR stood since 2016. So seven years to get back to a not back to fitness where I was back then. I'm sure I'm fitter than I was back then, but get down to watts per kilo number which would uh, get, allow me to get a PR and when I did it in 2016 I did it with a group as well so it's very erratic um, cycling because we were dropping each other and uh, back in 2016 so I was trying to follow my my Strava virtual partner on the com and uh, it was just like I was 10 seconds behind in the first well, 300 meters so I was like that took some mental <laughs> fortitude to just sort of forget that and just slowly crawl it back and then finishing 35 seconds up 50 seconds I've got to find on a four mile hill climb to go under 20. I just started taking it streaming some races I'm taking notes here streaming races is the first go so go and have a look at Andrew Andrew Bradley Buffington ABB as he's known on uh, this channel Lord Andrew Bradley Buffington. Go and have a look at his channel. He looks, to me, he looks like quite a good Zwifter. Not going to lie. Yeah, it does look like quite a good Zwifter. So if you want to go and watch some good races, go and check Andrew out. Ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. Yeah, so that, you know, I was very good marker. You see there's a little spike at the start on the Strava and the video just to get up to speed. Um, don't tell Phil Love it. Don't tell Phil Love it. Don't break this out and t go and tell him. I'm nowhere near his PR. His PR is 18 something. Bearing in mind he doesn't class his PR as his PR because uh, we had a tail, 17 mile an hour tailwind. So he doesn't class his 18 and a half, uh, 18 and a half minute PR time up there. He doesn't class that as his actual PR. So, but I actually beat his time this year, Marco. If you, go, if you go to the this year segment on uh, who's who you're following and this year, I actually beat his time. But he did have a, he had an epic headwind and I had a tailwind. And he nearly died this year. I nearly died a few years ago. So <laughs> we'll give him that one. Yeah, I think he'll have me on the day. Paul up Main Road, I mean, he's he, he's gone. He's out of there. I won't even see. I won't even be in the same 10 minute category as him. No worries, ABB. Yeah, he weighs next to nothing. Yeah. Although if we, uh, are you a vegan, Marco? Or vegetarian? 
either way, even if you're not, there's this amazing vegetarian restaurant, uh, cafe that uh, we went to with Phil last week after his Paul Lock Toll Road. So, highly recommended. <laughs> but it just me. Yeah, so if he's 60, it, yeah, hopefully it'll only be 30 kilos. <laughs> At the moment, it's over 30 kilos, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say the poor bloke had a broke back and the rest. Uh, yeah, th yeah, I mean, yeah, it wasn't exactly candy from a baby. <laughs> no, all I was going was a PR. Um, but I knew if I got to 12 miles an hour average up there, it was starting to get to, you know, starting to get into that 20 minute something for me, which to be honest, if I didn't get, if I didn't get 20 minutes something yesterday, I probably would have pulled the plug and just done all three hill climbs and not worried about it. No, nope. but it's still a nice restaurant to go to. I've converted, not converted, but I've taken many, many um, big meat eaters the superior level used to go there every week after we went there once. It's so good. I am actually a vegan. Nice one, Andrew. Bradley Buffington. How'd you get your protein in? <laughs> 13 years. 13 years. Nice work. I am a vegetarian. So I get asked all the time. How'd you get your protein in? I eat fish. I'm a pescatarian, but yeah, people around here don't know what that means. So it's just people call me veggie. <laughs> um, 20, how many years? Not 90, 18 years, 18 years I've been vegetarian, pescatarian. 19, 19 years. It'll be 19, it'll be 20 years next November. So 19, 19 years. It's a great comeback from Phil for sure. Oh, it's a, I think 90% I think 90 of people uh, wouldn't have been back on a bike, maybe ever. I don't know if I would have been back on a bike, to be honest. Um, let alone how quickly he did it. <laughs> Just crazy. <laughs> yeah, 18 years. 2004. 19 years. I don't know what I'm... Uh, is it 19? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He's got, Andrew's got seven stomachs. <laughs> I'd be really annoyed if I missed my, um, my PR today by like four seconds. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I shouldn't. I was not, I'm 96 and a half kilos now. I maybe would have done this at 97 kilos, but not as fit, so tomorrow morning gonna be some pain oh we're not on uh thank you for subscribing 730 subscribers and a ride on from pam right on we're not on twitch why haven't i pressed the twitch button can i do it now pam if you could let me know just to be annoying I've just updated and pressed. I didn't turn Twitch on, so I've just done it now. I wonder if it will just magically appear or if it's already started, it won't. Oh yeah, Marco, pretzel isn't that bad, by the way. Sat on the sofa, sat on the office chair. No, it's... Um, it's just one I wanted to tick off. It's not the Uber pretzel. I think the Uber, the Uber pretzel. I think I think the um, Swift Insider epic group rides and races are going to be switch on the Twitch. 
I, may, I have done my end, whether it's on or not, I don't know. Um, I think they're great. They're, uh, ooh, um, because there's lots of the, the full PRL. We did say, didn't we, about potentially doing that for the Festive 500. Uh, but there's some rides, like I haven't done the course we're doing tomorrow, Mountain 8. I haven't done it. So there's lots of those where I can pick up some XP, catch up Ali in the XP challenge. Hey, we're on Twitch. That's good to know. Thanks, Pam. Pam is watching on Twitch. Who's going to be faster at Porlock, at Porlock Toll Road? Marco or Pam? Marco or Pam? Marco's got a howling headwind. So get get any thoughts of uh, under 25 minutes out of your head. I joke, I joke. Tomorrow we'll have to decide. I'll use the Twitch to be able to... Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, I'd, I mean, I just kind of, I actually set it up whilst I was on the bike. So maybe I just didn't press it. Using my feather. I was doing Andrew feather. I can do this for an hour. I can't. That's me down. I was thinking tomorrow, am I going to go for a PR on this climb all the way to the top or just to the banner? So I've got to decide on that maybe tonight. If I finish this ride in time, I really took out of me. If Scott Hewish can do it, so can I. Swifty's motto, my motto. Uh, I, I just haven't done this route, and I'm going to do it tomorrow's with you in the 7:30 ride for the Zwift Insider Epic Group Ride uh, on the Mountain Eight. So I thought I'd get the pretzel done, which has this radio tower done in, just to get it in the legs. I'll let his tyres down, Pam. <laughs> this is a nice place to stop for a photo. This is a lovely place to stop for a photo. George and the bike is back. <laughs> Hill climb first, photos later. There's a t-shirt.
George is sitting in an office chair. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is not what my legs wanted today. <laughs> You can go down the toll road as a race, but it's quite rough these days. And it's that kind of time of year where it's a little bit greasy in places. What we can do, the one that will be a bit safer and you, you guys know really well from, the, from my videos, is Wedding Cross to Sully Corner. I do it pretty much every ride. <laughs> I'm close to taking my KOM. It's steady, it's not too steep, it's safe. And I do it in 40 miles an hour average for 1.5 miles or something. You know the one, Sully, uh, Wedding Cross to Sully Corner. WX to Sully Corner. So we'll see who's the fastest on that segment, Pam versus Marco. Will Marco's acceleration from the start outweigh Pam's higher kgs. Didn't Band of Climbers used to have a jersey, something about a shirt, t-shirt, something like Band of Descenders or something. Zero to Hero, my gosh, the pretzel, yep. Bullet Bell's got a live FTP test at 6.30. So I'm hoping I can finish this route and get to the shower and get down to his by then to beast him on a on a ramp test. <laughs> Three dead people will not be. <laughs> well, I'm going to survive. Morton's back. Morton's back. Hey, Morton, how are you? Uh, I don't know if you can see individual stages. So Morton wants to know, can you see the fastest um, Zwifty Zwift all? Now, I'm sure Marco or anyone um, wants to know who's the fastest on stage three. I'm not sure if you can filter by stages. What's your overall time? Are you above me in the GC? <laughs> yeah, true. I'm, I'm finding it hard to find a gear, to be honest. I think tomorrow I'm going to go all in on the, on the Epic KOM and just <laughs> push up here. We have it. We have it in real life. Oh, my legs. We're not even a quarter of the way through this ride. <laughs> the zero trainer difficulty tomorrow, I think.
about the same plan. <laughs> Although I'm not as high as the moon. Come on. Oh, why did you go pink? Oh. Why doesn't it say what I had last time? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. This Tuesday, I'm definitely doing the Glasgow crit. Hello, it's end game. Yeah. Hit it on the wrong place, I think. <laughs> How's the hair today? A bad hair day. Nat's gone to dunce the show today, which is a little farming show, agricultural show. show. Take a lead on good draft. Loosened off some snot, didn't it? <laughs> what are we what are we thinking? Bullet's going to do a ramp test later on, six thirty on his channel. If I can finish this in time, uh, if not, maybe six forty-five. <laughs> what uh, what are we thinking for his FTP? I'm going two six five. Oh, oh, six, uh, two hours time. Bullets doing a ramp test. Uh, taking it easy today. <laughs> Good timing, Jesse. Taking it easy. I'm saying my legs are just shot from uh, Wednesday's double day. Uh, Paul at Hill Climb PR and a nice 338 watts in the morning for nearly an hour. And then 
368 watts was it mark over 20 minutes uh abb lord andrew bradley buffington two hours time bullets doing an ftp my friend bullet if you haven't seen him much on this channel what is his current ftp he'll probably say 190 <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know, really. He's just, he's in these junk miles. If you're watching Bullet, don't get stroppy because I'm going to lay into you tonight. He's in this junk mile kind of range where he's not going easy enough on his easy rides. He's going too hard on his hard, uh, he's not going hard enough on his hard rides. Yeah, I just, Bullet at the moment, I think I'd rather do a ramp test. I'd rather he goes harder. Taking it easy, yeah. <laughs> As I just go, try and get over that lump. Yeah, that's it. He's just jumping in, like, you know, ideally, I put him in a critty, critty bang bang race <laughs> and get an FGP out of him. Um, he's got four weeks to lose some weight for the hill climb. I'd love it if he could get a PR for the hill climb, for the poor lock hill climb. But he's got a bit of work to do. There you go, Morton. Uh, you can show all stage three races on Zwift Power, but it doesn't show the times in the overview. That's what she said. Yes. That's what I was saying on the... Um, on my uh, video description, uh, my video chat with you, Marco, it's like yesterday, uh, Wednesday, when I was doing the toll road. Like for me, it, I was in two minds when, when I was like halfway in thinking, this could be an epic FTP test, or I could go for the time. And uh, I just had to get a bit aero on some of this story, didn't look it from the camera. But there's a couple of times I was getting a bit more aero, sacrificing some watts to be able to get. I think if I was 21 minutes something, 20 minute targets out the window for me. But as I just slipped under 21 minutes, 50, 50 seconds is easier to find than one minute 15, isn't it? So. You can say that about most of your comments, I think. Like that's what she said. That's what she said. Uh, Andrew Buffington, Andrew Bradley Buffington, Lord Andrew Budden, Bradley Buffington, ABB, is uh, starting to upload some races. So if you want to see some races from, a, looks like a very lean, mean, well, not mean, don't look mean, a very lean Swifter, go and check out uh, Andrew Bradley Buffington's new uh, channel. Yeah, and that's it. Like, people wear FTP like an ego, don't they? Like, mine's been roughly, what, Zwift put it at 355. They've now put it down to 315 in my Z, uh, my Z uh, FTP. Um, I've been sort of not really worried about it because I haven't been doing, when I've been doing my easy days, I have just been literally not even reaching zone two sometimes. And when I've been doing my hard races, it's, it's, zone two or hard isn't it it's uh vo2 max interval racing hit racing yeah oh, it's just a wind yeah hopefully i can shift a few more kilos um it's gonna be close so pulls off for a, uh a bowls match against someone down the road Good luck to Paul. Zone 90, yeah, two zones. I have been literally training in two zones at the moment. Oh, it's actually nice to see some Zwifters again.
Uh, I had a question. Do you try to get some weight off your bike for the hill climb? Not so much. Not so much. Um, I nearly had a wheel, a wheel, a wheel, a wheel, a wheel deal. <laughs> Not a meal deal, a wheel deal, which would have saved me about 250 grams off my set of wheels, which would have been quite nice. Maybe a bit more, 300 grams. Uh, hasn't come off so uh i can do no i'm not too worried for the toll road because it's 4.2 miles five percent average you know i took i took a bottle cage off yesterday just for mental mental gains uh the main road the toll the main porlock hill main road is two miles at 10 percent average so yeah you you know that's going to make a world of difference. If you, I've got to, I've got this bike, so I've got the Scott Foil, which is the bike I did on that hill climb video, and I got it down to 7.3, 7.2 kilos. So I could use this one for Crocom on the Saturday in the main road, uh, but we'll see. There's Tubalitos in, in these wheels now at the moment. Uh, for the hill climbing bike but I'll, I'll probably use the air road for the toll road i used it yesterday it's eight point eight point four point something eight point so just a smidge under 8.5 kilos so i've got an aero road bike which I, i'm really used to i've got a light lighter a bike which i could maybe get down to seven kilos at the end of the day, what's the best I'm going to be? 92 kilos at best by then? Is it going to make too much difference? Uh, I'll keep, yeah, I don't know. I'm not taking the bar tape off the canyon, that kind of thing. Yeah, but um, that's with some scrap heap wheels, some Mavic Chrysiums, Chrysiums. Um, it's not, the, obviously the bike's a bit more aero, but it's a 20, 2012. Uh, so we could, we could get the DI2 off it because it's 2014, 2014 DI2. So it's the first generation of road bike DI2. And it's heavy, obviously, like the battery's 75 grams and stuff uh so we could convert it to a one by for the two hillier climbs or the plan is at the moment the if i do the other two climbs i'll do it on the gravel bike because i've got 42 on the back and i can do porlock hill 10 percent average for two miles i can do it seated on the gravel bike and i can get a lot more watts out i could probably do it faster on a bike that weighs over a kilo more than my air road because I've got the 42 on the back. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, it could be a fixed gear. I wouldn't even need poor lock. Yeah, poor lock. If I, this is if I do the main road before it's, I mean, it's a couple hours before the, the toll road. And Crocom is the night before, it's half past four the night before, the day before. Crocom, Crocom is just a mile, just up. Porlock Main Road, you might, later on in the climb, you might want a bit of a, a little bit of a bigger gear, a harder gear. Um, the trouble is for the hill climb that I did on this foil, the, the video that broke me on YouTube, <laughs> realized I wasn't gonna be a YouTuber. <laughs> 40 hours of editing, 100 pounds spent on the bike. I have earned 95p off that video. <laughs> um, the trouble is with that hill climb, it's very flat and then it kicks up to like 15%. So maybe the air road would be better on that climb as well. Patrick, VO2 Patrick. I did a ramp test last week, but hadn't done any high intensity efforts for about six weeks. The burn hit early. Some of them used to be. 
first jump in a couple of Zwift races. Patrick, then do another one. No, it's uh, so Jesse says, I watched the toll road video. Sorry about all the breathing. <laughs> ah, ah, I haven't watched it back yet. <laughs> so I hope there's not a time where I go, Fuck you, I love rack. You, um, I watched the toll road video. And do you have a special coin for the toll road or do you come back and pay it? No, so if you're part of Minehead Cycling Club, it's a pound every time you go up the toll road. Bicycles pay a pound. If you're part of Minehead Cycling Club, you get a little token which changes colour every year and you can just show that to them. So you'll see his little Perspex token. I was just going, token, token. I was actually getting a bit worried that he wouldn't see me and shout and say, stop. And, and I would have just cried, but yeah, no, so. You can just chuck a quid at him. <laughs> they will give you a ticket to come back down, but pretty much if you're going back down, he'll, he'll remember you. Oh, and for the for the actual day, for the toll road for the day, it's it's closed road, so they close. It's a private road, obviously, as it's a toll road, um, but it's closed whilst we're doing the event, and it's you don't have, on the event you don't have to do it, so you can warm up before you know close in the morning. So the idea is that. I assume the, the cycling club pay like a yearly fee or something. Um, so we go up, up the steep hill and you come down the four mile toll road and then we're going up the toll road and then you can come back down the toll road. They put some cones out so people coming back down, you stay on the one side of the cone. I was quite happy with the pacing on Wednesday. It was uh, considering I had the effort from the morning in my legs a bit, which is what I, I was planning to do it today, but it's raining. And uh, at the time it was a hell of a tailwind. So I almost didn't want to go and get a PR in a tailwind because I don't think that would have put me in a good mental spot either. Uh, so I went and did it in the morning. I went and did a ride in the morning, hard ride in the morning, did it in the afternoon. And that sort of loaded the legs up a bit because if i do the crocombe hill climb on the saturday before the toll road you're gonna have to have a little bit of pain in the legs aren't you <laughs> feather won't have to pay for the toll road because i doubt he'll be doing it i doubt he'll do the toll road He'll do the main road probably. He's not, I don't know if he's doing the Crocom climb the day before. I assume Ed's going to do all three. I don't think, because um, Andrew did say he had a wedding that day. So it's because it's like 4.30. It might have been annoying. Yeah, um, yeah, you can. You can just, just tuck in a quid. If, I mean, sometimes he's not even there. So you're all right and just go through. Or you can pay pay your money and back down there's a little pot there um but you can just flip him a pound or uh he'll i mean he's pretty good he'll know if you're putting in an effort and you, you said i'm coming back down in two minutes or ten whenever i'm sure it'd be fine the uk champs is the struggle uh which ed got the kom from one of the pros, I can't remember the pro, uh, last year. The struggle is, you know, up country. <laughs> um, 
Lake District. What was it? Uh, well, Fev Andrew Feather put on on Instagram yesterday showing off his new Cannondale bike, didn't he? And he said, all will be revealed in the morning. So I wonder if he's gone for an F out there today. I have to see because he is flying at the moment. What did he do the other day? 470 watts for 10 minutes. Yeah, so Ed's picked up his new factor today, and he do you like does everyone like the paint job on it? The sort of smoky effect. So Feather posted a picture of his new cannon down. <laughs> yeah. They probably used to take checks. Phil Lovett was asking me if I'm going to film it this year on the bike, if I'm trying to get a PR, I'm trying to get under 20 minutes. Um, I think it would be wasted not to, wouldn't it? I filmed it yesterday. <laughs> Thing is, the little DI2, D DJI, DI2, little DJI camera, is it 40, 40 grams or something? Might be wrong. Obviously, you got like something to put it on as well. So I had my chest strap yesterday on Wednesday. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, it's only got a built-in internal internal battery of about twenty-five minutes. <laughs> and that said, do you think that's going to be long enough? <laughs> I, I hope so. If I'm aiming for twenty minutes, I hope the battery will last. It lasted yesterday on Wednesday anyway, so that's good. Marco's coming in early, uh, early doors. We'll go to Labrooks. Uh, we'll go to the betting shop when you're done. Put a bet on it. I don't know. Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, Ed, Ed will say himself, I think. We all know that Ed performs better as an underdog. And that's no, that's no secret. So I'm sure he'll be loving that, you know, Feather's putting out all these great numbers. Um and stuff before the event we'll see we'll see does look lighter logo looks a bit smaller whiter not as sort of silver 56 grams for the action too is it oh it's lighter than that um 113 with the battery so i can leave the battery at the start um so i'm not worried about that so i'll just have it then obviously you got the goat. I use the GoPro uh, chest mount. I could put it on the bike. There's a little that would be lighter, I imagine. Um, I think it'll be a waste not to not to film it. And mentally, it gives you a few extra watts, doesn't it? I think if you if you know you're going to have a video of me doing either 19 minutes 57 seconds or 20 minutes and four seconds maybe if i had the camera on and it was that close it's gonna be hard it's gonna be, it's gonna be close yeah i thought the chest strap because i've weighed that before the chest strap i got the gopro is 216 i thought it was over 200 grams um i'll have to think about it 200 grams is a lot isn't it when I'm trying to, <laughs> I know I'm going to be 92 kilos. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What time is it? Oh, it's five o'clock. I've got an hour. God, am I on target for this? I'm not. Should have got a bit of flat now, haven't we?
<laughs> My original plan was 90 kilos and 390 watts. I'm hoping I can get away with a few less watts. I don't know if it's going to be close now. I don't know. I've thought about so many different bloody times and we wake up in the morning and it's 17 mile an hour headwind then everyone's going to be a minute over their time anyway and i'm not training for a 19 minute effort up there Um, so yesterday I didn't change it too much. Uh, I'll do a little video on that because a lot of people ask me what, what data screens I use. Um, so I've got, so I have three second power heart rate. I've got two, I've got two that I flip between. I've got the DI2, so I flip between using the buttons. And obviously up and down on my, my thing. I'll do a little video on it. Because uh, I can set the goal. I, I've obviously got a good, a better, more consistent time up there now. So if I race my PR, I know I've got to be in my PR by 50 seconds. And because I was quite a consistent speed or effort, I know... You just got to beat my PR by 50 seconds. You can see up and down. So I have one thing where it just says up and down on your PR, or you can set it to the KOM or, or your goal. Ooh. What I really want is someone on my motorbike following me. <laughs> That'd be a lot easier filming it. I have a Garmin. A Garmin 830, and that has the 530. So it's quite, it's a small one, a smaller. Um, but yeah, I, I would say yesterday when I was sort of, I think it's like, because I was thinking about it when I was going up there going, on the day I want to see power, I want to see up and down on my goal or up and down on my, on my PR. I want to see average speed. Average speed is quite a good one. Normally for a hill climb, I wouldn't worry about average speed, but it's a 4.2 mile hill climb. And actually average speed on the on the hill like that, if you treat it more like a TT. So I wasn't really focusing on my heart rate on Wednesday, even though I did have, I will have heart rate there just to make sure it's in, in line with the, the power. Obviously, if the heart rate goes, boom, then, you know, you're not on a good legs day or or whatever. You can do something about it. But the uh, the average speed, it all because I was actually like my PR was 11.4 miles an hour. My uh, feel, I think this year, feel love its time was like 11.7 miles an hour. And so I just kept like thinking, get near 12, get near 12, get do everything to get keep it near 12, keep it near 12. And I think I ended up bang on 12. Um, there is a fast a bit later on in the climb as well. So you've got to sort of kind of take that in mind, which I was saying to Marco, it's where I dropped my, uh, where I dropped my watts, where I would have. Um, interesting, the heart rate didn't drop looking back at the effort there. Uh, but I dropped the watts, which, you know, sacrificed the FTP test technically. And the FTP is now coming up after Wednesday is one, one, uh, three four seven but i know it's a little bit more than that i, th I think Zwift went far off three five five i think three five five is a good one so much formula one injury ever been in the race. so i wouldn't so average speed means nothing really on shorter hill climbs wouldn't even look at it some some of the uk hill climbs you're not even looking at power you are just emptying the tank and trying to get over the line the ones around us where we've got a two mile climb four mile climb it's a little bit different 
Yeah, the 530s. I like the 530 because I've been out in the rain recently and the, the touchscreen is just absolutely kaput. Locked it, unlocked it. It's been unusable. I needed to stop a segment when I was trying to get one off. Um, Marcin Beer Blocky. I was going for one of his segments and I couldn't stop the segment I was on. So it wouldn't let me do it. You can't do it from your DI2 button. So I was a bit annoyed with that. The 530. Why don't they make the 530 and the 830 the exact same? The 830 still has the buttons of the 530, but just the 830 has a touchscreen as well. So I could lock the touchscreen on the 830 when it's really bad and wet and then have the buttons to stick. Because you haven't got the buttons on the 830, so you can't get around the menus. Mark, he's back. Hi, hi, Scott and chat. Congrats on the poor lot of PR working, so can't chat but listening in. Thanks, mate. Thanks for a nice kind uh, comment the other day on the video or Strava or God knows where it was, but those kind of comments keep me going. So thank you, mate. I did think about that one going up the toll road the other day. The 840 should be a lot better than with that. Okay. Hey, 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 it's Lun. Eric Lun, as we're going to call him now. Got a nice set of Lun wheels on his bike. Very grown up. What is going on here? A very grown up sounding free hub. Oh, so, oh, right. So the 840, so the 840 has got buttons, is it? Is that right? Eric with a K. Oh, this is nice. This is just what we need. Bullet Bell's called in the help. Bullet Bell's doing a live FTP test later on. So I've got to get this uh, ride done and get to him. That's the other issue. That's the other thing you can do. Avoid riding the rain. What's the first KOM going to be? On those new wheels i'd love it like set of those wide like i, I think mine are like what are they 17 18 mil at the moment width so my 28s balloon out and uh i'd be interested to know how you find the wider internal rim hi scott i'm finished mark alford hi mark good to have you back mate uh i'm finishing work soon do you want some company on there or is this a solo attempt? This is definitely not a solo attempt. I'm actually hoping this group is doing the pretzel. Just by chance. Uh, no, come and join me. Come and join me. It won't be fast. It's just uh, so tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. UK time, I'm going to do the tiny. No, stop calling it tiny. Zwift Insider epic group ride, which uh, is on the Mountain 8 route. I haven't done the Mountain 8 route, so it'll be some nice... XP, ka-ching, and, uh, and we, got the, we got the climb I've just done, so. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> I was a bit behind on that, Mark. I'm, I'm, I haven't looked at the 840, but I was so angry the other day. It's happened to me twice recently where I haven't been able to do anything just because the bloody screen's done. David Ryan, I'm giving you a pull. What? Oh, yeah. Where are we, Jesse? Well, who is this? Is this Coco? Yeah, 21 mil. First ride was super fun. Going double century tomorrow. I think that's what would make a difference to me for because I'm heavy and I go around right downhill fast. I'd like to think a 21 mil internal, 22, some of the hunt ones, uh, hunt, oh, some of them, I don't think they'll fit in my canyon. <laughs> if I ever buy a new bike, it's definitely going to have space for 32. It's got to have 32 uh, mil tires. Cheers, Marco. When do you fly? When do you fly? We'll catch up. We'll catch up about next week. (laughs) 
it's not you mean oh so it's it's yeah it's coco look oh no so jesse where's my this hasn't overwritten my route has it i should still be on the route surely surely i should still i'll definitely love it there surely i am still on the route i must be on the route i am on the route surely i am on the route i must be on the route howdy it's all a lie are you ready for some early morning action next week for stage four race of the world early morning for you not for me okay Whew. i was panicking then i was i was half panicking and i was half thinking ideal <laughs> Coco's flying today. Racing after this, Scott, Mark Alford, do you want to line it up? I'm not racing after this. I've got to, uh, my friend Bullet Bell, the legend Bullet Bell has got a live FGP test. So I'm going to go and beast him, whip him, pour water over his head, slap him around the face. And go, you're not finishing yet. You're not done yet, boy. That kind of stuff. You know. Rugby. Rugby Scott comes back for an for 20 for whatever it's got, 13 minutes. That's a ramp test for three minutes. You're not done until I tell you you're done. <clears throat> ah <laughs> VO2 Patrick, VO2 Patrick. Popped a 23 mil. 23 mil. There's a route that I do quite regular now, which is called the Valley Road. If you look at my Comrades channel, it's the last video I put up, which is just up a little climb, is the end of the Valley Road. Before that, it's really rough. I remember doing that on this bike, Scott Foil 2012, 23 mil tires pumped up to 130 PSI, thinking I'm never going to ride this road again. Now I'm a 28, so it's sort of 80 PSI. I do it most days. <laughs> oh, it's all a lie. Finally won the muckle in. I'll be ready for Clyde, the Clyde kicker. Will I be able to lose another kilo before stage four? Just, it's going to be hard for me to stay in the, in the Clyde kicker because it's packed dynamics four, isn't it? So... 4.2 or 4.1 or whatever. It's going to be hard. Stop calling me Shirley. Yeah. Shirley. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, there's many annoying things, isn't there? About what do we think about the UCI then? UCI coming in. With the uh, big bucks from my whoosh. Uh, Glasgow crit. Glasgow crit is stage four of the race there was. There's five stages this this month. There's an extra week. It's not like a double, a double stage five. It is a proper stage five afterwards, which is the um, city in the scar, I think. But yeah, definitely Glasgow for the next one. Power up Peter's here. Hi, Power up Peter. So, uh, shall I do Glasgow on Monday and Tuesday next week or just save it for the Tuesday? Oh, they've gone. Great, back to the scare for round five. And we've got the pretzel back up.
18 watching, please tap the like button. Join me tomorrow morning at UK time for Swift Insider Epic Ride, group, group ride, Mountain 8. And the following week, they race that same route as route one, route week one. Oh, five laps. It's gonna it's gonna really sting. I'm just hoping I can hold in the pack. That's goal one on Tuesday. Does Bullet have a target wattage for the ramp test from previous? Uh no. He won't remember what he got to on the last like round test. He won't remember like because it doesn't say you're at FTP 250. It's obviously take you can work it out, can't you? Off your hardest ramp, but he'll just go until he's done. Cheers, man. Cheers, Zwifty Zwifter for the run on. Yeah, jump in, guys, jump in. Mark Alford, it's all a lie, jump in. I'm not, I'm not trying to get a fast time, just trying to finish it. Only the reverse KM left now. Cheers, Parrot Peter. Just one more hill. No radio tower this time, that's a good sign.
<laughs> the ramp test for bullet is to um is so when he does an easy ride he's just given a, a, a more accurate number than he's got he doesn't know at the moment sometimes he's doing a a 190 watt effort up a six minute climb and thinks it's a, a real good effort. So I just want to get him onto a roughly around an FTP so he can do his easy rides easy. Uh, he's doing too much of this in between. And I've told him that and I'll tell him tonight as well. We might have some, uh, some crocodile tears, but all I care about is getting him a PR on the hill climb. That group ride of yours is at 7.30. Yes, 7.30 a.m. I think tomorrow, UK time. Swift inside a epic group ride. And then next week they do that same course, the Mountain 8, but they do it as a race. And then the next week is Quatch Quest as they do as a group ride for Saturday and Sunday. And then the following week they'll do a race on that Quatch Quest. <laughs> If you follow me on Zwift, you should be able to just join the Zwifter, shouldn't you? I, it's all like, do I, do I follow you on Zwift? Because obviously your name, I can't remember what your name is <laughs> on Zwift. <laughs> Comment on the, on the last Zwift uh, thing last swift event i've done or something and i'll uh i'll friend you well all i'm doing jesse i'm not treating it like a race so i might try for a pr up the up the climb which is early doors and then i probably go easy up the radio tower and then i haven't done that badge so i want that i'm doing it to get the badge as well and I think in January, they're doing the full PRL. Obviously one week they do it as a group ride. The next week they'll do it as a race. Well done on your TT efforts last night as well. I was, I, you know, I was so close to saying, yes, I'll do it. But I think it would have been, I would have loved it, but I would have, uh, I think I would have just gone too deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm thinking I might turn off training difficulty tomorrow just because if I, if I wake up and I'm feeling good, it, uh, it'll be almost a swift FTP test for me, wouldn't it? Up the, up the first climb so to be honest i don't want i don't want it where you go through the castle i don't want it to ease off so i know if i just put it in to turn off train to and just go for it find a gear yeah I, hopefully if it's if it suits me obviously the run up to the hill climb now like is the hill climb <laughs> The amount of sacrifices I've done for this effing hill climb this year <laughs> is just, uh, it's unbelievable. And it's just like, yeah, so that, that just has to, like, I'm supposed to be training for a triathlon two weeks after the hill climb. And I haven't even started thinking about that yet. <laughs> so like, like last night was good. Um, yeah. If it's the same course, I'll do it, similar course. It's cast pats, no, <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> oh, if uh, does cast pats go up the petite com twice, once at the start and once at the finish or not? Is that, is that, you go up the aqua.com. com. There's one that goes up the start. Oh, petite bush, petite bush is maybe that one. If it's at the end. Hey, Mark Alfish has joined. If it's at the end, that's all right. I can do my do my turn. There was a ride the other week, and I thought it was the um, it was the sand and 
uh, oh, I don't know. No, it was um, it was the one we did for the Z racing stage, and I thought I could do that, and I could lead you out for the first nine k and just draw off. Have you got steering on, Mark? Yeah, Mark's got steering on. Come on, Mark, you're dropping off already. There we go. Cheers, Mark. But it will be uh, most impressed. Oh, I only want something. Don't get dropped. God, it's all the getting the band back together. Oh, Mark, you might have to stop steering. Eric will get angry. Try and stay in the middle of the road. Sorry, Eric. Canadians, eh? God. We know it's not your fault. I love, love this. I'm a little warm up, my little warm up group before they go off racing. <laughs> oh, hello, now, right? I wasn't expecting you back. Thought I was getting robbed. <laughs> Have we got any fudge? Who goes to a show and doesn't get. I love fudge. I'm pulling, I'm pulling Mark. A pie? Oh, nice. Is it made of fudge? Mark and Eric's in the game. Eric's got some new Lund wheels. Not, not the wheel sponsor that I've uh, had issues with. Oh, Eric, Eric, can, Eric, I was thinking, can you get hold of a, uh, could you get hold of a Elite Sturzo for, for steering? <laughs> Giraffe leeches. <laughs> Already done it, yeah. Nat goes out, gets a delivery from Wiggle. Already put a new cleats on her new lake shoes. No, put, put them on exactly as they should be, as they were. That's what she said. Comedy pie or Thai curry vegan? Thai curry vegan pie. Oh, I don't know. Half and half. Is that dinner tonight? Is it?
Oh, you're smelling from here. Oh. It smells good, says Pam. Ah. Oh, yeah, you get a discount. A Thai curry pie. Sounds great, says Jesse. Do you want to see it? Oh. <laughs> There we go. I know, how's that gonna get me to up the, how's that gonna fill me up? Four quid, I expect. Oh. Cheers for waiting, guys. <laughs> Mark's using his brakes. We can use our steering now. Oh. Could I have some syrup, please? No, it's in that bottle. Got my homemade syrup, please. Strip. It's in one of the. It's in that real heavy, <laughs> five hundred mil bottle. Oh, is it in the fridge? In the wiggle bowl. Good squeeze and some cold water from the jug. Oh, uh, just water from the jug then, please. I didn't sign up for the epic. Lol. Eric is just gone. Eric's after a PR. And a splash of uh, squash. You love it. Good warm up. Thank you, Nate. Oh, let me remember it's quadruple strength. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> Cheers, Patrick. <laughs> RT, RT, RT. I see RT. Five watts per kilo flying.
These two are just going easy on me, I know it. <laughs> RT is going hard to catch up. The author is back. The author is back. How are you doing, Zifting Demon, Demon Hunter? Stopped. Oh, it's broke me as well. Mark's a bloody machine. Oh, I was going to change the hill climbing bike. I oh, work on. Arty, arty. Oh. Oh, I do it on my app. Oh, Mark, you're an animal. Artie. Come on, keep battling, yeah, come on. I've got a round test to get to. Cheers, Mark, come on. <laughs> I was only going at yours, but you, you were flying. It was nice. Me. Oh, Eric, you... Oh, come on, legs. Look, mate. 
if Mark can just drop you like a, a wheel. I was stuck to his wheel because I was thinking, oh, if I slip off, I'm done here. Uh, and as soon as you stopped, that was enough for me. That broke me. I know you were pretending to make a work call. <sighs> what am I doing? What am I doing? There's RT. It's all the lies here. It's three watts per kilo, all right. Yeah, should be marked, should be good if I get back to you. But we'll that's some fun on the way down. Demon Hunter says, I think I could go my entire life and never do the pretzel or the PRL or others and not feel like I'm missing anything. Yeah. yeah, same. Full PRL in, in London. I d Have you got any more excuses there, Eric? Come on. Time to sack off this golf lark. Right, cheers, Mark. Yeah, three watts per kilo. And we're all steering, so it should be fun on the way down. Yeah, Uber Pretzel and the... Uh... Full PRL. I'm looking forward to the full PRL because you can do it as a race. I'm not saying I'm going to race it, but it might make it go a bit quicker if I can stay in a pack. I think Ed did it in a group ride, didn't he? Oh, now. Are you coming down to bullets? Or are you? Yeah. <laughs> I've never done it. I, I do fancy it. Yeah, my full PR might take me three days. Oh, a big YouTube pre Uber pretzel race then. That'll be fun. Can't wait. Are we going to catch those people by the top or are we going to get them on the way down?
Well done, Parrot Peter. How long did it take you? <clears throat> hey Steph, how are you buddy? Have a good run Jesse. Cheers, Mark. You're doing so well, mate. <laughs> it's not easy pacing a sprinter up a climb. <laughs> oh, six hours. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Mark Alford. No, no, Bernie Eisel felt all those years. Cheers, all sort of eyes. Well, your heart rate must be through the roof after that start. Crikey. Oh. Rider keeps wanting to get out of the draft. Oops.
Cheers, boys. Ah. More. Ah. Oh. Evil stuff. Ouch. All downhill now. Come on, RT. It's all a lie. Come on. <laughs> Where are you? Is that you? No. There we go. There we go. All back together. We've got to get down this bloody mountain. I've got to get down this road. I didn't mean to press it. Hey, Craig. Oh. That hurt a bit, that hurt a bit. How come coming, Mark? No, Craig's got food poisoning. Oh. Just before the hill climb season as well. <laughs> no, that's that's not nice. I was only joking. Hope you recover soon, mate. Bloody awful. It's probably making you feel much better. Oh, when it's past. Nice one, Craig. Oh my god, I'll have another bash of that one. Been a bit fitter. Should we try and do that coffee break? 
Mark, Mark, can you do a coffee break? I don't know if they've been riding long enough to do the coffee break. You still steer? I think you can. Yeah, you can still steer in coffee break. <laughs> this guy next to us is thinking, what is going on? He's been coffee broken. <laughs> <laughs> where's this all lie oh he's got no chance now 10 seconds behind rt come on <laughs> i'm done too it's all right thank you for jumping in mate we just we've just coffee attacked uh this rider here he's loving it Do you do the radio tower on the first ascent of the epic KOM? Yes, you do, Andy Mott. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the comment. Thanks for subscribing. You do it up the first climb. Um, we're still, we're still freewheeling. Uh, you do, uh, but not the second one. On the pretzel. And tomorrow, if you're doing the tiny Swift, Swift Insider Epic Ride, then uh, you will get the the. the radio tower tomorrow morning or tomorrow or sunday whenever you're doing it let's let's hope this doesn't affect my badge <laughs> i'm not surprised yeah always a killer it was uh it was tough earlier I, tomorrow morning i'm going to try and go for a pr up the K, up the kom up the epic i don't know whether there are segments that go all the way up to the radio tower i don't know whether to because i think if you're going for if you're going for a pr on the epic kom then it's a bit different to save something for the radio tower uh so i just got to decide what i'm doing tomorrow for that 7 30 if you're joining this is actually very i don't you know might be a bit sneaky but this is very handy because i it's five two nearly five to six and I've got to get down. I've got to get showered and get to my mates for half past six. Are we out of it now? Oh yeah, I assume we're out of it. Did it stop? I didn't notice. Oh, Mark's got his socks on. <laughs> oh, me and Mark having a race to the end now, I think, by the looks of it. He's going for a PR.
<laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, it would be tough on the second ascent, Andy Mott. <laughs> Sorry, it's all a lie. That guy's a bit of an animal, isn't he? Come on, Mark, let's get. Oh, yeah. He's back. You're on Mark, one second away, three, eight K. Yeah, he's coming in hot. Right, race to the finish then, guys. <laughs> because I am racing to the finish. I don't think so. I don't think the points will take me over this level, over the next level. Oh, right, just race to the finish. <laughs> T 
Cheers, Alex. Thanks, mate. One or the other, yeah, one or the other. Just below me, uh, Michael, Epic Com with the radio tower, and then Epic Com reverse without the radio tower. A little warm up for the Zwift Insider Epic ride tomorrow on Mountain 8, which goes up the Epic and radio tower. Always. Always. Andy Mott, great effort in doing the pretzel. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I only ever get around an hour and Zwift and never complete it unless I have time. Or you just get really, really fast and do it under an hour. Can I calm the pretzel? I tell you, what, I could eat a few pretzels in two hour and a half hours. Haven't really been going for a fast time. The only time sensitive issue is that I've got to get bullets doing a ramp test in half an hour. So I've got to get showered, protein shake, showered, and drive down to his. I wouldn't have definitely would have made it if uh, Mark Alford, Eric, and RT, it's all a lie, jumped in and towed me around a bit. Been way off the pace. Speak of the devil, I am still planning on getting you for half six, but all right. I don't know if you scheduled it yet or not. Let's get everyone's guesses in for bullets FTP. Ramp test, I'm going 265, 200, uh, 265 watts. You better get worried about racing bullet after tonight. Late again. Hi, mum. We're here for the, for the best bit, the sign off. I'll just knock this course off before bullets ramped us. That's easy. 241 mum's going for. Interesting. What do you think, bullet? 190. Mum is usually... She might only tune in for the last 15 minutes of a ride. But to be honest, with her Zwift... FTP ramp test predictions. She's been right about 90% of the time. She's won so many mugs and hoodies that I haven't got for her. Yeah, it was. I can't remember. What was it? Was it one? 
was it two eight five you bet i can't remember your best mark um bullet we'll have to go back and look at the live ramp test oh my legs i'm just sweat as well Nearly there, guys. Mark and RT turn me in. Maybe the winner will get the first digital back pedal kit a day early. Where's RT gone? He's taking a. It's all the lies taking a right turn. <laughs> He's gone for the shortcut. Turn around. I'm done. <laughs> okay, cheers, but teleport pack and beam at the finish. Mark Alford now knows the feeling of trying to tow a sprinter back on the Tour de France stage. <laughs> How hard it is when they're dropping off the back. Can't get in any rhythm. Are you running down to the legs? I could do for some tri triathlon training, couldn't I? No. Well, we've missed the time cut two and a half. Ah. Oh. Does the leading count? I don't know if the leading counts for time wise, does it? For the segment or the whatever it is. Shake the leg. Ah, <laughs> uh, twelve hundred, not eleven hundred, twelve hundred, maybe. No, nothing there. I'm hoping the legs wake up in the morning. Seven thirty UK time. First, a Swift Insider, epic ride. It's a group ride, not a race. Cheers, Mark Alford. Cheers, it's all a lie. Thanks, Eric, for jumping in earlier. Anyone else I've forgotten? Thanks to all the live chat for keeping me going.
Oh yeah. <laughs> I was expecting. I was. I was expecting some finishing results. <laughs> Why can't I take a video? <sighs> Cheers, Mark. Every group ride is a race. Yeah, well, it is a race. Yeah, so tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to join the 7.30 a.m. if I get up bed in time. 7.30 a.m. Zwift Insider Epic Ride. Epic Ride. This week they do a ride on the Mountain 8 route. So we go up the uh, Com Epic KOM with the, with the radio tower. And then next week you race that course. And then the following week, I think it's Quatch Quest. Group ride one weekend. The next weekend you race it. And they do that. It's a sort of series of four each time. Cheers, Mark. Thanks for the coffee. Saw <laughs> 1200. Let's just have a quick look at the, the graph. That is another pretzel, another group, another badge earned on Zwift. Some more XP. There's the timeline. Started off quite, quite nice. As uh, Pam would say, I got carried away with the chat midway and then had to uh, put in some big effort. To get down to bullets for half past six. I don't know if he's live streaming it or recording it, but it, you might be might see us on Bullet Bell's channel in a bit. Bullet Bell on YouTube. Don't worry if you're slightly later than planned. I'll try and get down there, mate. Um, thanks to it's all a lie. Yeah, I, I was. I, I, you know, <laughs> this was a bit of a last minute decision. Um, so I've got a few of these screens. I've got Altazan or whatever it's called and. And there's a few that I've sort of done. So um, it was a bit of a last minute decision. If I do these again, I will put them out. Um, but mainly we're probably going to use the uh, Swift rides, the Swift Insider rides. Um, I'll probably do a race or two tomorrow. We'll see what happens. For now, goodbye. Go and watch Bullet Bell's live ramp test over here. Uh, you'll see me. This is me 30 minutes later and, and another, another ride there. Uh, we'll see you in a bit.